What is up YouTube? Thank you for coming back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you a quick and easy way that is actually a better setup to be able to attach an electric fan and a five pin relay. So in my case, I added an electric fan to my AC condenser to be able to help keep it cool in this burning hot state we call Arizona, where the floor is actually lava. So this has helped out tremendously, and I'm gonna explain to you how I set it up with a five pin relay and not tap into any other direct power source or any kind of fuse uh, accessory setup to be able to power it. That would only be in an emergency case if you're stuck on the side of the road and you just happen to have one of these in your trunk. But let's show you how to really wire it up to where it'll be beneficial and last you a long time. So we already started with the fan. Now coming over here, we have a relay and a pigtail. So let me go ahead and pop the relay out so you could get a better understanding when I start mentioning numbers. So this is the five pin relay. As you can tell, there's five pins on the bottom. And this is the pigtail that the relay plugs right into. It's just so that the wires come out and you don't have to sit there and just put spade connectors on the bottom of these and have them exposed. It's just a nice way to help kind of clean it up, make it a little easier. So five pin relay at the very bottom here, we're gonna have a see a set of numbers here. So you see 87, 87A, 86, 85, and 30. We will only be using four of these five pins in this particular setup. So the one I'm disregarding is the middle one, and I've already moved, removed the wire uh, from the pigtail, so that way it's not in the way, not connecting with anything or anything like that. So these numbers come in pairs, so that way it'll make it easier. 87 and 30 pair, 86 and 85 pair. So these two are together, these two are together. So let me go ahead and plug this in and then I'll show you the layout with my particular wires and use the numbers as well so that way you can follow along and uh, if you need to install this yourself, you'll know where to connect what to. And yes, my wiring looks like a freaking chicken escaped from its coop. Uh, don't judge me. I literally threw it together so I can keep driving. I do delivery driving and I'm out here doing it for like eight to 10 hours every day, running my AC the entire time. So there you have it. Anyways, now that we have that plugged back in, you can see my wires here. I have white, red, black, and green. Okay, so those are gonna be the four wires you need to pay attention to. So 87 and 30, remember these are the paired numbers I was telling you about? 87 and 30 on my pigtail are the two thicker wires, which is gonna be the green and the black. Okay, 85 and 86 are gonna be red and the white. So we'll start with green and black, which is 87 and 30, and then we'll jump to the other two. So. In this particular case, I'm using 87 as a main power source, meaning that this is connected directly to my battery. So you can see my little chicken wiring coming right over here. Now, as you can see, oh, look at all that corrosion. As you can see here, I have a fuse in between. This thing is a nightmare to open, one hand. Okay, I have a fuse. You need this fuse in between. In case anything happens and that fan wants to short circuit or whatever the case may be, it'll pop up the fuse and not take out your entire electrical system. It acts as the same fuses that you would have up here for your cooling fan and your radiator fans. Same setup, but just mine's right there. So you will need that. So that acts as your main power. So it goes from 87 all the way to the battery with the fuse. Now, it doesn't matter if you use 87 or 30, the two, the two thicker wires, which is gonna be in this case, the black one, it does not matter. You can have 30 run to the battery and 87 run to this other part where I'm gonna tell you. So in this case, since I have 87 is the green, 30 is the black, I have it running to the direct power source of what I want my positive to be on the harness of the fan. So this fan has two wires. It has a black wire and a blue wire. Most common thing people do is, oh, black's ground and blue's negative. No. In the case of an electric fan, if you just reverse the wires, it reverses the spin rotation of the blades. So it becomes either a pusher or a puller. In this case, I have it as a pusher so it can push. As I'm driving, it'll collect the air, push it through 
the condenser through the radiator and the fan on this side is a puller so it is going to pull the air out. So I have the black wire which is the 30 going as my positive wire to the fan. So as I mentioned before the two come in pairs so if you decide to have uh, 87 go to the fan make sure 30 goes to the battery otherwise if you have 30 going to the fan make sure you have 87 going to the battery so that's why they come in pairs doesn't matter which one is which just make sure that they're going to the correct spots next we're going to talk about 85 and 86 so 85 and 86 are going to be the red wire and the white wire okay so in this particular case doesn't matter they can go either or just make sure one's in one position one's in the other position okay so in this case I took the red wire which I believe is 86 and I tapped into the positive signal wire of my stock fan harness so that way when the fans come on naturally when the, it needs to cool the engine down or when you turn on the AC fans it will send signal power to the relay which is well, there it is hiding right there to the relay which is going to tell the fan to turn on okay so that way when the fans go off that one goes off when the fans come on the fan comes on but it's not directly linked off of the source and pulling more amperage as if this wasn't here so this is why that is needed so i tapped into that and you can see that I pretty much just spliced the line, put a crimp on it with a uh, with a male connector, and then attached, just kind of extended the wire. I didn't need that much wire. I didn't know how much I needed, but attached the red wire to the female connector and then linked the two. So that way now it has a signal source for power. Now the other one, 85, which I have is the white wire, okay? That is going to need to be grounded if it's not going to be used as the signal wire. It would be the same thing as if it was vice versa. So if you use the white wire 85 as the signal, the red wire 86 would need to be ground. Make sense? Okay, so let me show you how I set it up. The fan also that you're not using, the wire that you're not using, in this case it would have been the blue wire off of the fan harness, that needs to be ground because I used the black one as the power to make this a pusher fan. So in this case, the blue one needs to be ground. So all I did was extend the ground and I linked it together with the white one because the white one also needs to be ground. And then I just linked it to my engine ground because I know it was a solid source of a ground. You don't have to link it to your engine ground. You can link it, you know, you can take the ground and link it to somewhere down here where it grounds out and take this ground and link it to somewhere on the body where it grounds out. So the ground can be anywhere, just make sure that it's a clean surface and acts as a good ground that you won't have any issues later on. So that's pretty much it to be able to explain that to you guys. Hopefully that was simple enough, gave you some references. I know you're gonna tell me that. My wiring looks like a kid scribbled on a table and to be honest, I'm that kid that scribbled on the table. This will get cleaned up eventually. I had to throw this together so I can get the car rolling and keep using my AC because I like to be not sweaty. So once again, quick relay, 30, 87, black and green, 87, main power source with fuse to the battery, black, positive to the fan, 85, 86, which is in my case, red and white. One needs to go to a signal, signal source, a positive signal source to be able to tell this to come on. This works perfect just to tap into the harness of the original stock fan and just link off of that to have the signal spread until the relay to turn on the fan. Other wire that's not being used, depending if you want to push or a puller. In my case, it's the blue wire, ground it out. Same thing with the white wire. That's not If it's not being used as the signal wire off of the relay, ground it out. Other than that, guys, that is about it. Um, let me know down in the comments if you have any other questions, but this is a better setup than just tapping into, you know, something that's a constant power or a secondary source that's going to pretty much cause it to uh, blow a fuse because it's using too much amperage. I figured my fans are running. I want this to come on at the same time as these come on. 
and when the AC is running, I want this to run as well. So that's how I wired it up. So hopefully this helps you guys. Um, doesn't take too much experience, just a little bit of know-how, you know, and just make sure that your wires are not going to get caught in your belt or uh, get disconnected or pulled on or anything like that or melt or anything like that. So just keep that in mind. And then also to make sure you have some kind of fusible link in the middle of your main power wire leading to your battery. That way you'll blow a fuse and not your entire electrical system. Peace.